Today's cruise has been a hot one. <laughs> oh, there's a manatee over there. Found our sundowner spot right here. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. When I was taking Ollie out this morning, I went to go step onto the dock and I just like let go of the line on the dinghy. So Ollie's like floating away and I'm just like. <sighs> so I stripped down to my underwear and I had to hop in. And this is not like the cleanest water. I mean, there's like a dead fish floating around. People fish off these docks. I mean, it's not like it's gross water. It's just not where I would normally swim. So that was my wake up this morning. calm conditions this morning and the anchorage was super spread out not at all like Buki Harbor or or like no name harbor the tight anchorages that we have experienced in the past this one plenty of boats but they're all very spread out it's really good for me to practice because I want to be able to do all of these tasks but I I think we've said this in previous videos like Elliot and I learn two very different like techniques or paces and I like to go with things, go into things slowly where he likes to just jump in and like just do it. Six boats right now. Yeah, three boats right. Uh, four. Most of them yeah. are loopers, I think. Uh, just one is a looper. Uh, the perch from Charleston, South Carolina. But all of them are giving us very slow passes, which I genuinely, really deeply appreciate. It makes our day like a thousand times better. And you really don't know like how much it makes it better until you're a slow boat that doesn't have stabilizers. Really does wonders. has been a hot one. <laughs> I've been at the helm for the majority of the day and Elliot has been downstairs editing, which was kind of the reverse of yesterday. And this is for the most part how a lot of our days look. One person is editing, another person is cruising. There is very little wind and it at, in the morning and it started to pick up a little bit more in the afternoon, which has been really nice. Um, I mean, it's barely the afternoon. It's actually not even the afternoon. It's 11, like 11.30. Um, but it has picked up a little bit more as we've cruised, so that's been really nice because it has just 
been so, so stinking hot. Um, we have had the wind against our back, so it doesn't really feel as like refreshing per se. But uh, I'm, I'm, I get a little grumpy whenever I'm hot, and so I'm trying to just like take it in and just, it is what it is, it's okay. Jen has been doing a fantastic job cruising today. And now it's time to leave the Indian River. There's a canal, this canal that we're in right now, the Hallover Canal. And last time we come, came through here, we saw manatees. It's a minimum speed zone, so you have to go slow, which is good for the environment. And uh, you probably wouldn't want to go fast either, because there's like, it's a very, very uh, narrow canal. And it's so pretty, lots of fishermen out. Good way to spend a Saturday. That canal was beautiful. It was so nice because it was slow speed throughout the canal and all, all the boaters in there were going slow because of all of the wildlife. We saw probably a dozen different manatees swimming throughout the canal, as well as a dolphin, some birds, very cool. And we also saw a lot of families that were out boating or like having picnics, fishing um, with their families. And that was really nice. At the end of the canal, um, a manatee had come up to the side of the boat and like just surfaced a little bit. So I brought the boat into neutral just to go the slowest we possibly could go and let the manatee kind of pass, swim away. Um, but that was awesome. That was a really cool experience. We are now in the Mosquito Lagoon, which is big and wide open. So it has a lot more of a breeze um, to cool us off on this very hot day. We are coming up to our destination. We got dolphins right here on the side of this bridge. We're coming through Harris Saxon Bridge right now into New Smyrna Beach, uh, just south of Daytona here. And uh, it's it's pretty crowded today. There's a lot of boats out. It's a Saturday. Um, it's a Saturday. It's sunny. You know, what more do you want? Uh, so we have this island here in the middle of this anchorage called Chicken Island. I I don't know if there are chickens on the island. I guess we'll find that out. And so you can anchor all around it but the town dock is on the north side of it, so we're gonna check that out first. Um, really, we're gonna just kinda drive around in a circle until we find a good spot for an anchorage, because we have a really cool guest coming today, so I'm really excited to have on the boat. So we circled Chicken Island, and we found out where we want to anchor. The toughness is it's right next to the shore. Um, there is a lot of current here, so that should keep us in line, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically come next to the shore to see like how deep it is, and if it's deep enough for us, we're gonna come, on, come in and just anchor right behind this catamaran that's out here. Um, right here, we're what, like 150 feet from the shore. We have 10, 
well, 10 feet of depth under the keel, so plenty. Um, we'll just see how it is closer to the shoaling. The good thing for us is that it's low tide right now, and there's three feet of tide here, so should be good. sundowner spot right here it's going to be a very nice spot very, very nice. do you think so yes it always feels so good when we turn off the engine for the day Whew, it's gonna be nice we are anchors down right outside of the channel normally we probably wouldn't anchor in a place like this uh, just because of like boat traffic and there's not a lot of swing room But we're only here for one night and it just worked really well and we have a beautiful island right here That we're gonna explore later hopefully But our guest my dad uh, Michael who I think you guys have met at some point. He's definitely been on the vlog um, In our 200 plus episodes, but he rode his bike down from st. Augustine So was that 60 miles or more 60 or 70 miles today to come visit us and, and stay the night. So he like literally got to this uh, public boat ramp right as soon as we uh, turned off pivot. So timing couldn't have been better. So now it's time to take Ollie out, pick him up and enjoy the evening. And you may be thinking, wow, Elliot's dad must be like a speedy bike rider. Well, yes, he is. And we are also very slow because we went maybe I don't know how many miles today. 45 miles. 45 miles today. And I've been going since almost 8 in the morning. And he went 60 miles today. So, yes, we are very slow. <laughs> but we are giving him a ride back tomorrow. So he's going to be cruising with us all day tomorrow. Yeah? <laughs> because of the wind. Oh, really? So we are just ending the day with a relaxing evening. Jen's cooking up an Italian feast. Sausages, pasta, like a red sauce pasta and salad. It's gonna be great. We're here on Chicken Island. I don't see any chickens, but we're only on the beach, so I don't know. But Ollie's running around free, and we're just enjoying the evening. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow as we continue heading north on America's Great Loop. It was raining, and then the second half, I like lost it and I turned on the inverter, which normally we turn off when we're sleeping to save electricity and save power. I turned it on and I brought out the fan and I put the fan on me. Cause I'm like covered, we're covered with bug bites and I needed a good night's sleep. And it was just, it was not a good night's sleep, but it was a better night's sleep. Nice. No, 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 no. Uh oh, look at that guy's fishing line is out too. He caught a pivot. <laughs> Bigger than <laughs> Good luck reeling that in. <laughs> Best of luck, mate.